Christina's oh. pet owl found its way into her anal cavity. But the anal cavity didn't stop there. It went down the street forever. Turn the page. The eagle's talons ripped open Jonathan's scrotum. But Jonathan wouldn't let that finish him. He decided to murder that owl <laughs> to the best of his ability. Oh. It's a pretty good book we got That's here. a great book. I think so. Yeah. The prose. This wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you just fart? No, that was him. Ah, oh, I see what I was waiting for. When Susie found the tooth the defecation from her grandfather, she took it to the hospital, and it turns out there was blood in his stool. Hey guys, welcome to Source Fed Nerds Comment Commentary, the show where we take your comments from Vidges during the week and we read them out loud and comment on them. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Raina Scully. And I'm William Hayes. Guys, before we get into the show, I wanted to say this episode is brought to you by Strensum's Surprise Foil Wrap. Now, if you wanted a gift for a good person like your mother, your sister, your cousin, you get her a surprise foil wrap, throw it in some water, and then... What happens is, is it bubbles up, mm -hmm. it is not edible. Not at all. And then eat it. Eat it. Ew. If you eat it, it will go through your gastrointestinal systems and... Uh, what happens is, is you'll make stool. Wait, guys. It comes out exactly the same. What? It's soft. Well, let's find out what it is. Guys, today's episode's brought to you by this Strensum Surprise, and we're gonna open surprise it right up. Surprise Foil Wrap. Find out surprise what be? it is. Unfoiling? Surprise Foil Wrap. Surprise Foil Wrap. No, 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 it was like wrap. squishy. I'm afraid of what's inside. It was squishy it's a tentacle. inside. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, so look, stupid. Hold on, guys. <laughs> ah, no, please. Because it's, oh, no, 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 please. It's going to get everywhere. Strensum's foil wrap was, uh, got a topical cream. Don't. Go ahead and use some Don't. of that. Don't. So now what you want to do is just apply, ah! apply it to the wrist. No, 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 no. Right here. Just apply it right there to the wrist and just rub it in. Once you rub it in, you'll feel like it'll just see what it's doing to your skin. You know how you're feeling right now? Bad. That's that's the foil. I feel action. bad right now. That's how the foil ew. in action. Ew! Oh my god! Ew! Right here, ew! Right here, right here. There you go. It's it's butter. Butter. No, this is not butter. This is called uh, bee cream. It comes from bees. All don't right. be don't confuse it with D cream. Don't you dare. <laughs> We did a TV show show all about the leftovers, and uh, the question we asked you guys was, did the chief actually toast the bagel? I don't watch this show, so I don't understand any of this. The penguin thing, the toast the bagel. Well, many, I mean, you gotta watch the show. How many characters are on this show? Uh, look, Zeno Dark says, I don't think that lady works for the government. I think she just gets a kick out of watching people suffer. I mean, they never explain why she purposefully knocked over that coffee cup. That's Ooh. true, they never did. did she's they, the would? devil. The devil is on earth. Uh, That's potentially true. And she's her. Wait, I mean, she's him. True. What? Is the leftovers about? Like, it's about a, a bunch of two percent of the world disappears. Oh, on one day. Some of in them October. are babies. Some of them are babies. Wait, only two percent. Two percent. That's what I'm saying. World. That's exactly but what I'm saying. But there's like seven billion people. Oh, I yeah, guess but that's still a lot of people. Two percent's kind of a lot. What of if one percent yeah. of this office left? It'd be half of one of us. Huh? I don't really know math. I was gonna say. I was hoping yeah, you I just glossed right over that, that comment. All right. But I'm saying if there's like forty people that work here and two percent of us left then it would be half of one dude. If there's 20 more people, if we added 60 more people to the office. IW 1911 goes, the first episode showed some promise, but I felt totally disconnected from this. It's gotten batshit crazy out of nowhere and I just can't follow it, but that's just my opinion. This right. is that's lost. your opinion. This is lost. It's a I little mean, bit like lost. There's a lot of mystery. Is it really that like discombobulated though? Um. I mean, there's no explanation as to why people disappeared. All right. Not yet. That's lost. We're only in season yet. one. By season two. Season 13. one, episode two is the latest one that aired. So we're two episodes oh, in. So you can't really judge it yet. No, you can't. You no. got to give it some more time. At it's least probably, watch the first season. It's probably the black smoke. The bagels vanishing, then re reappearing could be some type of time displacement. The chief could be sick from the time shift and not crazy. Kind of feels like the Philadelphia Experiment, Alex Eco says. Hmm, okay. Interesting. All right, that's a good theory. The chief could be sick from the time shift. Wait. <laughs> there's a time there shift. There could have been. No, but there's no. There's no. Uh, there's no illusion. I think what? I actually want to watch the show. You need to watch it. Okay. It sounds so crazy. I like time shift. Will uh, a doctor appear? Let's see. Dan Danielle Gilbert says, "I think the Asian girl might be Pregos. It's the only reason to me why she would be the important one." That's, that's a good point. That's not nice. 
Good point. Why is that not nice? It's not the only I reason did. to me why she would be the important one. Well, she's the important. They call her the important one. Oh, they in the literally cult. call yeah, her. She's the important. Oh. Is she the only pregnant person in the whole? We world? don't know if she's pregnant. They they think she's pregnant. Danielle thinks she's pregnant. What's her name? Uh, I don't know. Well, not saying name, I did it, but. Oh. Anger Green Apple says this show seems like an episode of Doctor Who where the doctor never showed up. Exactly. That's okay. what I'm thinking. That's, That's what legit. it sounds like. Legit. Although Eccleston's in the show, so the doctor's been there the whole time. Really? Oh! Just saying, bro. Just saying, bro. He doesn't get enough love. That's Eccleston? Bro. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He I, I really appreciate it. He's really him. good. He is good. Mm hmm. There's never been a bad doctor in my opinion. There's never been a bad doctor, doctor? but my doctors are Tennant, yeah. Eccleston, Me too. and uh, uh, Smith. I haven't gotten that oh. episode yet. Still on You haven't gotten to Matt three. Smith yet? No. Okay. I got scared because Ready of you. Capaldi, though. Last week, me, Matt, and Will got to go to Anime Expo, and it was super fun. We saw a lot of sexy cosplayers. Too sweaty in there. Way too sweaty to, to, to doing the fun having. It was pretty moist. It was pretty moist. I can't handle it when things are too hot. It's like that. so yeah. hot. I don't want to be around. I don't want to walk around and have yeah. fun in the, the heat. The air felt yeah. hot. Yeah, there's nothing fun about it. <laughs> like, that. if I was in a really hot, a hot room, and then Ariana Grande was like, oh, let me hug you, I'd be like, hold on. Like, yeah, because you're going to no. be sweaty. No, you would. No, because yeah, yeah. you're going to be sweaty. She's going to be sweaty. But and you don't mind her sweaty. I mean, I don't mind her sweaty, but my sweaty bothers me. So I'm gonna um, tell her, like, I'm gonna have to, like, I don't care. I'll see you in a couple years. Plus, like, it's uncomfortable. It's, it's uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Like, what if she's like, let's have a two-hour hug? It's yeah, like, I'd be not like, in this heat. Not in this heat. Who, who do you think you are? Like, yeah, it, uh, she wouldn't can't. do that normally. She would just normal. Otherwise, she'd hug you though. Yeah, otherwise, if I ever yeah, saw let's her have on a two-hour hug in a, like a 72-degree room. Yeah, <laughs> not 68 because that's too cold, Ooh, and I'm gonna way be too cold. Whoa, you're gonna have to go somewhere else. Whoa, what are we in Antarctica all of a sudden? What am I a fuck? penguin over here? I know. Am I right? What am I, goddamn Jack I... Frost? Tell me about it. Ah, what am I, the fucking abominable snowman? Huh? What am I, fucking hiding carbonite over here? Uh, that... What am I, Mr. Fucking Freeze? The Ice King. What am I, the fucking Ice King? From a Adventure Time? The, the penguin from What am Batman. I, the fucking penguin from Batman? Abraham Russo goes, there was a guy dressed up as Luigi who went around the convention death staring everybody and yes. throwing turtle oh, that's shells. Great. That was great. That's great. That was awesome. Actually, I learned um, on Reddit yesterday there was more than one. I saw one at Anime Expo, but then on Reddit I saw another guy who actually had a cart. Oh, I saw, I, I saw that. I saw that. The guy in the car is no, no I, saw I saw a dude just walking around like this and just death staring. I saw someone oh. in a little car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in, on, in person, in I saw a guy. Saw on the internet, Reddit. I saw a dude in the cart. Was that the Anime Expo, though? Yeah. The guy in the car had like cartoon eyes. Right? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. the guy that was in walking real around had realized. Had realized. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was great. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. Timely. Timely. You know? Important. Uh, Carlos G says, man, cosplaying looks and sounds expensive. It is. Tell me. When we went to Anime Expo, I was walking around with Raina and her cosplay, and there was like some suits of her exact cosplay that looks oh, yeah. exactly like the one she made. Yep. Uh, for like what, a hundred and something dollars? Um, the well, really listen, good one man, was like two hundred. But you don't factor in the time it makes to take to make this stuff. In, it's true. Kind of in the heart, the heart. Don't you feel like this you show, made something? The whole point. I think the whole point of it is to make something, bring it to life, and then wear it and exude that personality. But you know, that's why I don't buy my costumes. I feel like the whole point is making it. I like to go to Party City and buy what they have there. Well. <laughs> Every day's a party at Party City. <laughs> oh my God, Kira Kira um, says. Wanna... Wait, how dare I'm you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were. <laughs> that didn't sound like words. Oh my God, Kira Kira says. Does cosplay still work if you're dark skinned? What does that mean? That's the point of cosplay. Nobody looks like the characters. Take that back. Resent it. Some characters do. That Kamina we saw. Oh, like the that character. Kamina was phenomenal. But I think you can be whatever you want to be, regardless. It's it's true. Unless you're this? ugly. And the if color you're of ugly, your skin I has better nothing. not see no, you cosplay. No. If you're not a good looking person, you better get out of Anime no. Expo, Comic Will, Con. Will, that's no. not true. Will, anybody can dress up. What I... you're saying, you can have an imagination and have fun regardless of the way you look? Absolutely. Exactly. What kind of BS is that? <laughs> Sems1193 goes, seeing these people being so into what they do and with such intricate detail is pretty inspiring. There it is. There you There's go. There's the love back again. It's all about the heart. Can I just cosplay as a handsome person? I don't know if you could pull that off. I don't think so either. You right. We did a table talk called Introducing Strensum's Hashtag Table Talk Topic Launcher and mm -hmm. we asked you guys, weirdest experience with a stranger? I think it always <sighs> goes down to that. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but also this is the premiere of the Strensum's Table Talk 
uh, topic launcher. Yes. And it has a beautiful piece of equipment that a fan made Highly for impressive. us. Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah, and we love it so very much. And we can't, Lee gets a little, uh, um, uh, she goes a little crazy with it. She, she started ripping her yeah, comments in half. Two. So she can so have she more, can have more than throw. one shot. But what yeah. she doesn't realize is it reduces the weight so it it's does. in half and it won't fly as However, far. it's adjustable. And if so you, you can still adjust it. But if you minus the numerator from the denominator, you'll have enough leverage to minus it into the air. What minus about the denominator, though? The denominator, you no, don't no, use. No, 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 not the denominator. Oh, the, no the dominator. The denominator, you don't use. 2% of it. I call my wife the dominator. No. That one guy says, I lived in two haunted houses. One was built on top of some Native American thing. Didn't know about it for a while until a neighbor told us. People would see faces and pictures and you would think you saw someone by the shed but no one was there. The other house, some girl died in the back room. You just get a creepy vibe in the house though not a lot happened. The ghost was a pervert though. What? Hold on. I'd use what? the bathroom, it's not over yet. I'd use the bathroom near the back room and for no reason the door would crack open when shut. I mean that could be when. Usually after I just got out of the shower and was still naked. Fucking pervert ghost. Wow, this guy is serious. Hold on. How did you live shit. in yeah. two haunted houses? I think brother, you're haunted. Brother yeah. or sister. It's very paranormal activity. Get a real estate agent, buy a house that's not haunted, like pretty much every other one in the whole country. Yeah, There's only like five of them. Like, uh, yeah, you can ask your realtor if the house is haunted. You can yeah. say, I'd like to stay in a house that people have not died in. Or you yeah, get a so. huge discount on it. Oh, maybe yeah. that's what he did. Give me the ghost discount. Give, Give me, me the, the ghost, ghost discount. discount. Yeah, I want that one. It's like having roommates, but they don't eat your food. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they do. Gab and Ellie Beauty goes, my weirdest experience with a stranger is when I was on a grocery store. I was, I'm sure you wanted to say in a grocery store. And some elderly lady who I didn't know came up to me gave me a hug and said, my granddaughter, I haven't seen you in forever, and I didn't even know her. Yeah, that's just a weird lady. You that's should, just, I learned, it's called Alzheimer's. I learned yeah. from my good Dementia. friend. Dementia. Yeah, when you get, here's the thing, hang on, there's a lesson for you kids. <clears throat> here's something they don't teach you in school. We all get old, mm -hmm. and what happens is, is the brain gets old as yes. well. Now, when the brain gets old, it means that we start to lose things like motor functions, Preach. Uh, uh, intelligence, mm -hmm. memory. Uh, we start to lose control of our bowels One and more urine. Thing. And uh, oh, also you lose your teeth. Mm. Now, when the brain completely goes, mm -hmm. you're basically dead. I mean, yeah. your heart's still beating, blood's still pumping through All your body, right. but you're basically a vegetable. You're nothing. Uh -huh. You're a shell of what you once were. Now, death is something that is apparent. It can't be yes. avoided. We're all going to die. die. Now, think about that for a second. I want you to take two seconds. Tell me about it. Think about how okay. at the end of your life, okay. whenever that is, when is could that? be tomorrow, Next day? could be in a minute. In a year. It could be right now. It could be immediately. You're going to die. On that lovely note. Guadalupe Carbajal says. That's Carbajal. Carbajal, I'm American. I think you guys <laughs> should find out if someone died at the office and didn't, and didn't do a video where you stay the night at the SourceFed building to see if it's haunted. There is a ghost here, as you may recall from the SourceFed one year, SourceFed Nerd one year anniversary video. Mm -hmm. We talked about somebody that did die here. What? I, I yeah, you can click on this link and check yeah, that out. Yeah, somebody did die here. And we also had another host, Mike Mikerson, who was a really good host until he was. Un, yeah, we un, don't talk about him. Untimely died. While he erased him from the books. Yeah, he just wasn't funny and Phil murdered him. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Nerd Comment Commentary. I'm excited. You're excited. We're all excited. Reyna, I want to give you the honors of finding the person who's going to win that dang t-shirt. Yeah, find your favorite mm. comment, will ya? I think the t-shirt should go to that one guy who commented about the two haunted houses that you live in. You should probably get a new house, but here's a new t-shirt. It's not much of a compensation, but it's all right. <laughs> Great job, that one guy. Now you wear that shirt while you get haunted and uh, peeped at by a haunted ghost. Prevert. <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, that's it for the show. We got a bunch of stuff going on this weekend. I believe someone's going to go see the new Planet of the Apes movie. I don't know who it is that yet. Exciting. And uh, there's also going to be a source fed animated. Oh, yeah. And there's also going to be potentially bloopers and a bunch of other stuff going on. But it doesn't matter because after that weekend content happens, next week there's going to be all new nerd stuff like your favorite table talks and all sorts of awesome things. I'll miss you guys, but I'll see you then. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Rena Scully. And I'm Wayne. Goodbye! Bye!
What am I, a fucking lean cuisine over here? What am I, something you find in the freezer of the cold?